diseases of citrus so we'll see the list of important diseases in citrus so my name is n shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so coming to list of important diseases these are the list of important diseases in citrus the first one is gummosis which is caused by phytophthora species and scabar verrucosis which is caused by elisnoe fauceti canker which is caused by xanthomonas campestris pathovar citri powdery mildew which is caused by iodium uh, tingitaninum and uh, citrus trichisa virus or quick decline which is caused by citrus trichisa virus C citrus greening which is caused by spiroplasma citri or candidatus liberibacter asiaticus and uh, finally nutritional disorder citrus poliocellulosis which is caused by zinc deficiency so now we'll discuss in detail about one by one the first disease is citrus gummosis which is caused by phytophthora species here six species of phytophthora are involved in uh, i mean uh, which causes of uh, gummosis disease the six species are phytophthora parasitica phytophthora palmivora phytophthora citrophthora phytophthora hibernalis phytophthora syringae and phytophthora cactorum are the six species which are involved in the uh, causing gummosis disease so so coming to the main symptoms or major symptoms we can clearly observe exudation of gum substance or gummy gel i mean uh, gum substance from the bark of the trunk we can see here exudation i mean uh, gummy substance or exudation of uh, gummy substance can be seen from the bark or uh, you know uh, trunk so infection later extends to crown region as well as if we see this uh, the stem or bark region so this slowly starts to dry and the shrinking of uh, bark also can be seen along with shriveling and cracking of bark so prior to death later stages this plant will die in later stages uh, and prior to death the plant usually produce uh, uh, heavy bloom i mean uh, more number of blooms i mean blooming can be uh, blossoms can be uh, produced uh, uh, you know uh, and uh, here if you see uh, the form or producing of a gummy or exudation is the major symptoms that is produced by the gummosis name itself indicates that gummosis which produce gum like substance from the bark or trunk so coming to management aspects so during intercultural operations uh, care has to be taken uh, from injuries especially at the uh, root and the stem regions so during intercultural operation care has to be taken uh, uh, no it's a very common during intercultural operation sometimes there may be uh, you know injuries will happens to the crops crops so uh, while especially doing with the, uh, dealing with the citrus uh definitely care should be uh, required to uh, you know uh, to prevent out from that i mean uh, uh, injuries for, uh, for for roots and uh, stems and uh, trunk application i mean trunk is coated with zinc sulfate copper sulfate and lime at the rate of 5 to 1 is to 4 ratio can also give uh, uh, great relief along with uh, soil drenching with uh, bodo mixture definitely gives a great control along with uh, painting 1 meter uh, of the stem above the ground level with the bodo mixture can help the disease so painting with the bodo mixture above the 1 meter level can definitely you would uh, uh, results along with the spraying of a soil drench as uh, sorry uh, also spraying and drenching with the redomil uh, uh, mz72 at the rate of 2.5 gram per liter or alet t 2.5 gram per uh, uh, liter 2.75 that is redomil 2.5 is alet t can gives a uh, good control here the redomil is the trade name of metaloxyl whereas alet t is the trade name of uh, uh, i think fosetal aluminum so so these two uh, fungicides are recommended and the second disease is scab or verrucosis which is caused by elisino fauceti we can see a corky outgrowth or uh, you know uh, raised pustule or corky outgrowth can be seen in uh, fruits and as well as the leaves also we can see but mostly we can see the fruits white color closed corky outgrowth along with uh, uh, alternate white and uh, yellow patches uh, sorry green patches can be seen here so so lesions also produced on uh, 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 on on uh, le i mean leaves also the main uh, characteristic symptoms are the formation of a corky outgrowth or formation of a uh, raised corky outgrowth on fruits uh, so later stages if you see distance if you if, if you see from a little, uh, from distance we can see a white color appearance or white color growth of uh, 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 and the fungus can be seen that is scab or verrucosis which is caused by elisino fauceti on the leaves uh, we can also see orange pale color spots later uh, you know yellowing and drooping of leaves also can be uh, clearly observed so coming to the management aspects spraying with the bodo mixture 1% or carbondism 0.1% can check this disease so the second one is th sorry third one is canker which is caused by xanthomonas axonopolis 
pathoversity which is a bacterial disease so coming to the symptoms we can see the symptoms can also seen in leaves symptoms can seen in fruits symptoms can be seen in pigs so symptoms can be seen in almost uh, uh, some major parts like leaves and as well as fruits and as well as ticks so here uh, leaves are not distorted in the case of canker whereas in the case of uh, scab or varicoses leaves are distorted or in the case of scab or uh, sorry uh, canker uh, so leaves are not distorted the same corky outgrowth or cankerous outgrowth can be seen on fruits along with a yellow halo we can see a brown color cankerous outgrowth or raised pustules also we can uh, as like of a scab we can see in here in the specialization or special thing is the where the leaves are not distorted here where the leaves are distorted is scab or varicoses and also raised pustules or uh, uh, cankerous pustules can be seen on fruits along with a yellow halo we can see the yellow color discoloration and uh, the griggling of stems and twigs also can be seen the later stages the plant starts to slowly uh, dying symptoms or uh, wilting symptoms can be seen in later stages the plant will die coming to the management aspects so spraying streptomycin sulfate 500 to 100 ppm or phytomycin 2500 ppm or copper oxychloride say fungicide 0.2 uh, percent at fortnight interval can be recommended where it is a bacterial disease so that we are recommending a streptomycin sulfate along with the control of leaf miner that we are recommending uh, you know uh, 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 leaf miner as well as you know uh, pruning of uh, bad leaves and twigs also can be recommended for controlling uh, that we are spraying here insecticide and uh, sorry we are spraying uh, antibiotic as well as a fungicide that can give better control and management uh, and that can great i mean control on the canker and the next disease is powdery mildew which is caused by oidium tingitaninum or acrosporium tingitaninum the name itself indicates powdery mildew so white color powdery growth can be seen on leaves upper surface of leaves and lower surface of leaves as well as the same white color powdery growth can also seen on fruits and the and the newly forming fruits are newly forming fruits that disease is mainly affect the mandarin sorry mandarian decline in karnataka so uh, this powdery mildew reason for the mandarian decline in karnataka that's one of the serious diseases that affect the major areas in karnataka so as i told you that white powdery growth can also seen in the leaves and as well as the twigs also we can see in later stages dieback uh, symptoms can be observed in the severe infestation of this powdery mildew dieback can be seen on yellowing of all leaves also can be seen along with the uh, uh, crinkling mottling and premature defoliation of leaves but the major symptom is formation of white color powdery growth or white color uh, uh, mycelial growth can be seen on the surface of leaves as well as twigs and uh, newly forming fruits so coming to the management aspects spraying sulfur dust in the early morning can controls the uh, uh, disease uh, and especially on leaves and uh, uh you know spraying of wettable sulfur at the rate of 0.5 percent can give uh, can also give uh check the disease so citrus tristiza or quick decline which is caused by citrus tristiza virus so the main symptom of the citrus tristiza virus or quick decline is called there citrus tristiza virus or quick decline both are same so the main symptom is stem pitting so stem pitting in the sense of pitting of stem can be we can clearly observe here along with the wilting symptoms also can be seen here so roots and twigs slowly starts to decay slowly starts to decaying and dieback symptoms can be clearly seen here along with infected plants also stunted stunting of plants can be seen all the leaves are yellow in color leaves are converted yellow in color premature defoliation and completely completely wilting symptoms can be seen here and along with the fruit size is greatly reduced let us consider if the average fruit size of a lime is this much size the infected tristis cystis virus or fruit size is this much i mean the size of the fruits is greatly reduced along with stem pitting or inner bark uh, face of the bark or sore orange can be i mean the inner uh, uh, stem pitting and the bark can be completely shredded off and we can clearly observe the stem pitting is the characteristic of the tristis or quick decline so this pathogen is a very very important one this is citrus tristis pathogen is a a uh, flexuous rod measure 2002 to uh, 12 nanometer inside which is the largest virus uh, sorry longest virus and uh, three strains are mild severe and seedling yellow uh, also are repaired today from this uh, pathogen coming to the mode of spread uh, uh, it can be transmitted by aphids that is toxopterus citricida these are the aphid species which are trans which are, uh, involved in the transmission of uh, citrus tristis virus this aphid is also called as brown citrus aphid or citrus orientalis or aphid citrus orientalis the species is stroxopterus citricida is a very very important vector in transmission of this uh, 
you know, uh, citrus is the virus. So coming to the management aspects, uh, for sweet orange and mandarin, avoid the susceptible root stocks. And acid limes use the seedlings of uh, pre-immunized with the mild strains of uh, tristiza. That is a uh, crash protection technique will be very, very uh, uh, beneficial in this, uh, again, especially this citrus is the virus. And pediatric spraying with the insecticide like monocrotopas also can prevent the insect attack so that the disease can be easily uh, managed. So coming to the next disease, greening, which is caused by rickettsia like organism, which is a mycoplasma, I mean, uh, uh, mycoplasma like organism or, you know, fastidious vascular bacteria like organism. So if we see, we can clearly see in partial yellowing and partial uh, yellowing and as well as partial greening. So half fruit is yellow and half fruit is green. That's why it's a greening. So where if you come into uh, normally if you see this uh, uh, lime lime has uh, has to convert its color to yellow in color in, in during maturity stages, even though in maturity stages the plant you know uh, the the uh, pulp or especially the outer uh, uh, sheath or of the fruit cannot be converted into yellow in color. Half is uh, 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 green in color and half is normally uh, uh, you know yellow in color. Along with the uh, uh, the main, uh, uh, you know, uh, what can I say that, uh, you know, uh, juicy content of the uh, acid lime also can be uh, reduced and it produced, uh, you know, worthless fruits, especially for juicing has also reduced the sweetness and as well as the acid quality, which is there inside the fruit and the coming to the main symptoms are uh, partial yellowing and partial greening. Uh, how can I say the half yellowing and half greening? Uh, you can write in a scientific way. So this is the main symptom. So coming to the mode of spread, this uh, I mean, uh, uh, greening can be spread by psyllids, that is diaporinus, it is very very important one, this is psyllid species that can be involved in the transmission of this, uh, 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 you know, citrus greening disease, which is caused by mycoplasma like organism or uh, uh, candidatus liberi bacteria asiaticus, which is a vascular, fastidious vascular bacteria. And the vector species involved is psyllids, vector species involved is psyllids and budwood grafting also uh, one of the reason in uh, transmitting uh, this disease along with the vectors. So coming to the management aspects, so for controlling psyllid, we can recommend monocrotopus at the rate of 0.05% and uh, we can use uh, pathogen-free propagating materials or budwoods can be uh, uh, one of the management practices along with the spraying of 500 ppm. Tetracycline can give the effective control and uh, if it requires and then uh, uh, the antibiotics only inhibit the pathogen but doesn't kill the pathogen. Remember here the using of antibiotics that only inhibits the pathogen and it has no capacity of, uh, 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 of uh, killing the pathogen. So the next disease is citrus exocartosis which is a viroid disease. So the varieties of Rangapur lime, trifoliate orange and citrus uh, uh, citrine root orange are the rootstocks are the highly susceptible varieties for this citrus uh, exocartosis viroid. If we see the root region, sorry, above the stem region, immediately uh, uh, above the root region, that is the stem, uh, that is where the uh, stem region that starts from the immediately above the soil, we can see the vertical cracking in here also. Vertical cracking can be clearly observed. Vertical cracking and scaling of the bark or removal of the bark can be seen and later the entire rootstock will be slowly starts to brittle and barking and later it will die. And white color, uh, uh, you know, uh, appearance also can be seen. It's a extremely stunting. I mean, uh, the plants are extremely stunted and these are the character symptoms of exocardus virus. So coming to the management aspect, spraying with one of the systemic fungicides to control the aphid vector because it's transmitted by aphid. So uh, spraying systemic uh, uh, fungicides, uh, sorry, insecticides can give the relief. And using some uh, virus-free certified budwood grafted seeds and along with uh, uh, you know, uh, periodically uh, uh, using a disinfectant uh, budding materials like knife and uh, and other uh, uh, materials what we are using and we better to depend on dipo uh, a disodium phosphoid solution that can be, uh, 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 I mean, uh, eliminate this uh, infection and if there is any. So coming to the citrus foliocellosis which is a dink deficiency or uh, you know, um, which is a nutritional disorder. The main symptoms of this uh, disorder is chlorosis and uh, we can clearly see exhibits the typical chlorosis symptoms can be seen along with uh, uh, length and uh, breadth of the leaf a uh, uh, little bit reduced we can clearly see. So coming to the application, I mean the management aspects, application of zinc sulphate or soil application of zinc sulphate and the polar application of zinc sulphate can uh, uh, greatly reduce this incidence and then as well as effect. 
So coming to questions related to ARSR net, not only ARSR net but also different board exams or entrance exams or, uh, and also for their semester exams also these questions will be helpful. So the first one is uh, gummosis because uh, uh, each and every we can take uh, we had seen many uh, uh, you know crops earlier. So most of the diseases are caused by maybe one species or two species. But this is the specialty in citrus. The citrus gummus is called by six species of Phytophthora. So it's a very very important question. There may be a chance of asking it. And canker, I had seen it in many areas. A citrus canker is caused by Xanthomonas citri pathovar citri. It's a very very important question and I had seen it in many areas. And citrus tristiza virus. Citrus tristiza virus which is a uh, what is the character symptoms of citrus tristiza virus or uh, uh, you know decline or you know they will ask like this and uh, uh, the main uh, 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 symptoms are stem pitting along with uh, they are transmitted uh, they will ask uh, they will also ask like this citrus tristiza virus is transmitted by aphid species are involved i mean aphids are the involved in transmission of citrus tristiza virus and the species of able toxopter is citrus eda along with the citrus greening so very very important the citrus greening is transmitted by a uh, MLO or uh, you know, fastidious vascular bacteria that is citrus greening. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 Candidatus liberi bacter asiaticus, it is a, which is a fastidious vascular bacteria. It's the best example of phloem inhabiting gram negative bacteria. Phloem inhabiting gram negative bacteria that is Candidatus liberi bacter asiaticus, which is responsible for citrus greening. And then uh, foliocellulosis, which is a nutritional disorder, and I had seen it in one area, I mean, uh, uh, I mean one exam. So citrus foliocellulosis is caused by zinc deficiency along with the rice care, they will ask like this and the rice care is also zinc deficiency. And, uh, and the last one is, uh, you know, viride the, and we had seen uh, uh, citrus exocortosis viride, they will ask like, you know, uh, what are, uh, how many number of uh, nucleotides are there in uh, citrus exocortosis viride, that is 371 uh, nucleotides are present and uh, um, these are all the possible questions in, from citrus.